How many P250s? It's one. one? Okay, all right. We are off to get this one started. Early presence in that second mid from the Team Spirit side. No early pushes for CT Info. So the first bullet is fired. It's Chopper's Glock that rattles off towards second middle. Interesting boost opting for one here. I wonder if that's a little anti flash boost there. Is the aircon on near you, Alex? It's hot again today. Yeah, I just turned it on. All right, I'm going to turn this one on this side. It's a wee bit too. worm here. But, uh... Oh, I hate oh okay. Uh, um, Robs has just killed two directly see? through the smoke. There's more where that came from. He's on the graveyard oh. and he's just controlling that tap. Three. Looking for four. Mir is there. Chopper's on the apps and they've locked them down. This site surely under Mouseport's control. Two kills back in. The hunt is not working out. They're hitting every shot. Oh, Chopper and Mir, 2v4. And they have turned this on its head. Bemis can save the day. Needs to hit a fresh mag and he can't find it. Chopper and Mir are against all odds. Mouseport's just threw away a pistol round. The crazy thing about that is Rops was trying to relocate because of the execute coming in and gets two headshots through the smoke. Yes. I, I just, he's not, he's yes. just. Pop up, okay. That, that's not what he's planning to happen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's not the plan. And this definitely wasn't the plan. I, I don't know how they win this, but this is wild stuff. Heads up Counter-Strike from the pistol round. That's what we're looking to see today. Okay. <laughs> um, hope you're awake because this one might be a fun game. I mean, it's a start, it's a Weird start, but it is a start. And we do have Rob's up on the Deagle now. Why not? I mean, treat yourself after that last round. Get a couple of kills. Deagle and armor. So only one invested for the CTs. On the other side for the T side, three. Mac Daddy's plenty of util. Two rifles and a B hit to start things off. Chopper got his flight path sorted. Comes out of the flash just before the CTs. And he's got territory, space, and everything you'd want. But there is still frozen. Maybe could be a little bit of an issue living in the smoke. Yeah, they're spraying it as well. <laughs> He's just staring at the ground. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, they think it's clear. Yeah, they've called it clear, but Chopper's still overseeing, and yeah, that's no fun for Frozen. Mir, quite the threat. I think he caught a glimpse of Bemis. Finishes him off eventually. All right, well, Mousewats already have 4,400. And they're just, what, what? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? He must bought into the M4 and everybody else bought into Deagle Kevlar. Is that a miss? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. You don't mess I don't, No, I don't think so. This is, Lauren, so w when we had mouse sports last season, okay. Chris Jay was buying on gun rounds, Deagles and head armor instead of buying into rifles. Uh, I... I know that this means, I like this because it means mouse balls will have a full buy in the following round. It's just very curious. I haven't seen this approach before. Yeah, Carrigan's trying to play the meta game here. Mm. Break the meta game. Frozen, same boost. They like this one. Let's see why. Ooh, doesn't quite go what he was hoping for. The elevated position, though, does keep Chris J on notice. Chopper's got brackets control as well. Bemis, don't forget, the M4's in the A site. Props his job surely to survive. Pull them in to that M4. At a very close angle towards the door. Carrigan deploying his smoke now, buying space. Pulls out the Molotov to clear the close corner. Four smokes still available. Flashbangs as well. It looks like they are going to start throwing them out towards A. So Bemis will be in the right place here, Lauren. He's your big danger, man. Let's see if he can get anything done. As you're, you said, he's surrounded by what Carrigan rops. They're both there to try and facilitate something from this. T-side do clear pit, though. That's Rob's gone, and now suddenly this rifle better do some work. One's not enough. Chris J just left on the Deagle. Four still stand against him. And again, leads out through the smoke. One kill, but three survive. Hmm. Okay, well, Bemis now has 3,900 going into this round, which means he will be able to buy. He's chosen the Famous, and everyone else is going to get up all the goodies they require going into round four. So more of a traditional buying pattern, because it wasn't a forced buy in the second. It was one deagle and an eco yeah. and then the third was strange and now the fourth makes sense there's no kits out to play there is the ult for carrigan we know that he can be serviceable on this weapon where's he off to he looks like he wants to have a look down mid he's two make it three second middle heading towards that apartment area 
Rops is the one that can hear it coming. Carrigan's going to be having to tuck away shortly. Yeah, he knows it. He's on a time up. This top mid pretty much gathered for now. Nice util usage. Plenty invested to it. Still has a fair amount to spare as well. So top mid garnered, but the loss of banana. It's going to be over towards the CTs for now, but they, they're they starting to run a little low on util. Chris Jade still has that smoke, so maybe could keep control himself. The T's aren't really in a hurry. This looks like one of those more kind of considered rounds from Spirit. Chris J forced off a touch, but no big moves yet, really, from the CT side, trying to play back any control. But it does look as though the T side will at least get that top banana now. Nice oh. nade. Oh, Chopper's not happy with that. 44 HP walking away. But this is your banana control. Yeah, 45 seconds, and there's no information for mouse sports. So the execute can come in towards the A site. And what this means is the players on the site need to trade out. It needs to leave the team in a They've got chance. smokes, Chad. They could just drop them now. They could. Short, smoked. That gets awkward. There's one on towards apps as well. 29 seconds. They're going to have to start committing. CT smokes here buy them so much space. And here comes the hit. They're going to hear all these steps. They know what's coming, but that smoke is going to keep the CT side safe. Flash comes in, BMAS blind. There's the follow-up now, Rox. Oh. It's outdone. That's an unfortunate frag, but Carrigan can only do one kill there, kind of pinned in. Safe. And it's theirs. Yeah, keep the guns, boys, over at B. Nice late round hit from Spirit. It felt like Mouse had the upper hand there for some time. Yeah, so uh, I think what we want to do, and I'm going to see if I can set up Skybox just quickly to show the viewer at home uh, what I'm talking about when it comes to map control and the need to hold on to some territory. So give me one second, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We might be able to go into that one soon. All right, so when I'm talking about map control and territory and needing to take space, the T's have two key areas of the map that they want to get control of within the early stages. And I'm going to highlight this for all of you. I didn't get a reply, so maybe they didn't hear me and maybe we won't, but maybe we will. I mean, Rush could always just do it. Is Live it in a world of maybe. It is Rush. It is Rush. We always have Rush. Yeah, you're right. It's part of the gang. Here all we right, go. So this, this is the map overview. And what I want to show you is you can see two CTs over towards the B site and three over towards the A side of things. This is with 30 seconds left. And the reason that you need information is they have no idea. If it was going to be a B hit, it's going to be a 2 on 5. With the A hit, it's a 3v5. So the number advantage will always be with the Ts. You can see here they have boiler control, they have mid control, brackets is under their remit already. And when they execute in, you just see they trade efficiently and take the site. So with those saved guns, we can get back underway. But we need to make sure that mouse sports are trying to hold on to more map territory than that, right? They need yeah. to either fight for mid or fight for banana, and if they can't, then they have to go for a fact-finding mission late. Flash for the info and gets a nice little headshot. Chris oh, has peeked off start. that as well, but cost of one of them their lives, the Dutchman down. Just frozen his time on the Hero M4. Mm. Saved M4's already down one. Beamers does well with the Deagle. Perhaps Frozen's got himself at least another here. Oh, he dinks magics. <laughs> oh, you can see the pause as he processes that one shot to the dome. And it looks like my, there is a real voice from Mouse Sports in this conversation that is round five. Heading through CT spawn, Carrigan watching their cross back. Rops rotating to support upon Carrigan's info call. He might even jiggle this. And with them being so low, Deagle's definitely relevant. Two bullets. Could easily translate into two kills. Here's his first chance. Clean. Takes the head off of SDY. Everything you'd need there, wouldn't it? Magic's... Oh, God, that, that damage done earlier. That dink, wonderful, that's it. it. This would have been much a much it bigger be conversation. Wouldn't yep. it? These two players that say they all this util. Mm -hmm. You could have seen a round from this, but I feel like that little bit of damage... Not a little, but... That damage coming in earlier has truly put this very favorable to Carrigan. He's fallen away. Beautiful work from Carrigan. Very well played. Very calm under pressure. No um, overzealous play. No overstepping. Kept it under control. Really good round on the board. I like that flash too. There's nothing special to it, was it? It was just like a nice little flash in towards peaking mid. I didn't see anything crazy coming from it, but worked. Really yeah, just having the two individuals picking off that and able to pick up frags doesn't normally go that cleanly. <laughs> So things looking good for mouse sports as they can bounce back off of the saved rifles. Let's see if they're able to continue to mount some of this CT defense. The AWP now back out in the hands of Carrigan. M4s across the board. And, well, I just balance has his AWP as well. So flash up middle. I just balance taking the territory back. Carrigan will not be re-picking after that sound cue. 
Very brave for a CT side to orbit to re-pick middle after that early initiation. But look how quick STY and Magics have boiler control. A minute 30 left on the clock. This means they can take mid very efficiently. Meanwhile, there's two players from Mouseport still trying to deal with Banana. Oh, American Bol Molly does tickle the toes. And in they go. Bemis this time saves himself for the least the first. Robs his crossfires there. He even trades into the site, but it's Magics that pulls them across the line. Chris and Frozen, you know they were the B players, but they have managed to rotate in relatively significantly. An AWP in pit for the after plants, always a tough one. Tough cookie to crack. Flashes, maybe, but looks like Chris and Frozen are passive. And so they'll cut their losses. It will be a Team Spirit successful A execute. I'm starting to get those overpass vibes again. They just make sure that everyone knows which smoke they're throwing. <laughs> everyone knows which flight path they're taking. It's very retro, Chad. This is the uh, the, the executes Counter-Strike I was seeing in 2016. Yeah, and you can just see how direct it is as well off the start of the round. Once they hear all those nades still getting exchanged in Banana, they realize that there's two players having to deal with that side of the map. Trading out efficiently is the key. The kill onto Carrigan, him going down without a kill, is probably why we didn't see Maus go for a retake. If Carrigan gets one, then he dies. You'll see here I'm trying to push into the site. He's flashed on up there, pushing on in, uh -huh. and he goes down. Now it's a 3v2. So the T's have the advantage, and the CT's already retaking is difficult. It's going to be the change-up coming out from Mount Sports here with the double orb setup. This means that they can posture a little bit more aggressively, hold on to their nades for a little bit longer, and maybe find some opening kills instead of being dictated to in that pace that we've just seen in a few rounds back to back here from Spirit. Let's see if they want to continue with this more direct play, because it has been very considered. It's like we're going here, we're doing this, and we're reacting quickly. Now they might want to slow it down, do more of the default spread. This is that nade that you were highlighting earlier, Alex, deeper from in the site. Okay, so he's tucked in on the pillar. Oh no, wait, is it a dot? Okay. Might be a step or two than a throw. But there's no one over towards the half wall and that's the secondary orb. So just show us Chris J for a second rush. So you can see here has information. Now we can go back to the A hit. And that means Frozen can probably rotate over towards the A site. Let's just drop in his util first. Flash is so good. Rob's completely blinded, but they turn around and he does punish. Dropping the smoke for survival. Bemis contributing as well. Disbalance yet to frag on this T side AWP. Chopper quite the opposite. Nine frags already. And there's plenty of time for the CIS in game leader of Spirit. Alongside his Orpa to find someone. Both using the smokes, and that's a crossfire and a half. Disbalance might be presented with an opportunity here. Frozen far too wise, though, just jumping for info and. Walking in on the safe line of sight, wants to even elevate himself up, potentially. Oh, okay. You need to be careful there, but I just balance. His options are pretty limited. He can save the AWP, and with 25 seconds left on the clock, that seems to be the decision he will be making. Yet to find a frag. Hard for t sided AWP is to find impact. That's something we should keep an eye on. If I just balance is starting to come alive with the AWP on the T-side, which maybe he will get a chance to do against two AWPs of Carrigan and Chris J. Traditionally, that isn't the case. You're always forced back, taking so much utility damage, and unless your name's Zywoo and you can run up Banana and get an ace within about 30 seconds, yeah, you're probably going to be uh, out of luck. So what worked that round? Because I know they fought for Banana Control, but they weren't able to cheat the player over in the right place. So it's still that kind of 5v3-ish. E yeah, uh, but it was the fact that they didn't uh, trade out efficiently on the T side, so... Sometimes. Uh, you see there, Carrigan gets a kill but gets traded, and then after that, Robson and Beamass are able to find frags and not go down. So the fact that the trades didn't come in for that of the Team Spirit side is why they weren't able to find their way uh, with an access point. The buy's going to come out from Spirit again, so we've seen two Mac 10s on the board. Ooh, Robs is pushing this. Go on, Robsy. Have a go. Oh, he's, he's down mid. Yeah, but Disbalance is going to have called it, and they're ready. Chopper takes his head off with that Mac 10, an extra $600. Not going to be complaining. Feels like they just threw something out to see if it would stick. And I guess the T's are going to take a second or two to consider what, what the hell that actually means and what that could influence. As they're being very cautious on approach, one minute left on, one minute 20 left on the board, but they have time. And a, is this a gamble? Everyone coming over towards A. Yeah, they need to make a call like this because they aren't down that early man. So Carrigan making a, a, a bit of a gamble call. Now, if it pans out and they do trickle on back over towards the other side of the map, they will give themselves a chance to win the round. However, the gamble stack means if it is the B hit, and that's how it's looking <laughs> right now, if you take a look at the radar, see all five members of the Team Spirit side ready to hit 
the B bomb site. Smokes flashes Molotov's about to rain on over. The push is coming through. They will be probably too late to get any flank kills here unless Carrigan continues to run. Here he goes. He's going to get one. There we go. That might be enough to incite the rotation from Chris J a little further. Maybe a smoke shot to get the party started. But Flash does deter him. He's getting himself towards construction. Is he really going to consider those just straight shot through the oh. smoke? He actually hit it. SDY hit through the ankle, just limping his way towards that construction site. 20 seconds as the bomb goes down. Magic's in the off angle with his precise aim as always. Carrigan trying to force the fight, but with the AWP it should surely be Magic's. Chris J from construction. Magic's tagged us so much damage being inflicted, but the smoke towards Banana actually does buy them a lot of space. They still, unfortunately, seem to be uninterested, and I'm... <sighs> I have to just talk about a save again. Yeah, so just to note, that smoke is great, but it's locked Carrigan in Banana with two players. So the idea would be if Carrigan wasn't coming through, but sorry, Carrigan, um, didn't mean to think your name there, mate. Uh, that's a rough way to go down. If they were able to save the double op, the next round would have been decent out of that of Mouse. They will be able to drop a gun across, so Chris J or Frozen can drop an AWP. B Mouse and Rops can buy themselves. But that just means they're going to have to reinvest the 4,750 if they want to keep the double orbs in play. Christian actually dropped one. So let's see if he reinvests when we come back from this replay. But here's the swing on out from Magix. Nice. He's still continuing to have a mad one, old Magix. So I think his confidence is building game after game. What's his name? Horus the Brutalizer. Thank Sorry, you. Lauren. Thank you. We've got a bit of a brand building here, Chad. Yeah, I'd right, really appreciate right. it if you brought it home. Horus the Brutalizer. <sighs> didn't even like Blade. I'm devastated. Uh, he can pick his own nickname. Quiet. Chuddy. Brutalizer was a really nice item in uh, Heroes of New Earth. It enabled you to get lots of mini stuns if you were playing like an attack so speed. so much. It took all my teammates away. Oh. Everyone kept going to Pond play was it. better than League. I used to play Wretched Hag and Magmus. That's I all like... I used to hear on like Vent. Yep. I was like, oh, let's go play some Pond. Hagen's dead already. With Voodoo the Voodoo Jester. Uh, we can keep that out. Oh. Who's not been playing their ranks? Pestilence. Yet? Was that one of them? I think that was the Bug Boy. Yeah, I like oh, the Bug Boy. Bug Boy was, was good. like Tidehunter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he feeling a little fruity? He's feeling frisky. He's got Frozen with him. Here we go. Ahead of the flashes gets to. Nice work with Frozen. Woo! Oh, he's going for more. Go on, Chris J. Have a crack at it. Frozen felt brave, but now not so much. Chris J already on the challenge towards this balance, and he's done really well to contain that B threat. Ah, uh, Magix, I kind of like what you're up to here. Boris? Boris the Brutalizer, folks. He's got an idea. And he has the spray control dropping off. Trace of fire, a bit of a problem. Buying time with the Molotov. Bemis and Rops. And a threat. They've got so much util, but it's magic you've got to deal with. Firing the shot to disguise the drop off into pool. He's got the aim for this, Lauren. Oh. He hasn't got the first <laughs> shot. Rops had the perfect weapon for the job. They'll go ahead and recover anything they can find. Looks like they might even be able to take the double orb save. That's the conversation they're just having in the comms. Looks like they'll go for it. So, a third for Mouse does keep this game competitive after what was a sterling start for the Team Spirit gang, four in a row. And yet to see Mouse Sports string together two consecutive rounds, which is why it's been a bit up and down. But, of course, they're coming into this one with a full buy. All of the bells and whistles they desire. See if they can string together a second here. Such an awkward CT hold right there. That really comes down to just hitting your shots. And I don't know that sounds stupid because that's what Counter-Strike's all about. But the point is they're in limbo. They're in the mouth of Banana. That's an area where usually a lot of utility gets thrown on down. And if a flash was to come into that position, you're vulnerable. You can't drop behind a box. You can't hide behind a wall. You have to stand. You have to fight. And Chris J delivered in a big way. So five kills to his name so far. And there were impactful frags in that round right there. Double Orbs back on out and aggressive they push. So Carrigan seeing if he can find anything over towards Alt Middle. We'll have to find SDY. Junkie boy. Yeesh. Double Orbs picked up. Double Orbs open up into round 10. Chopper catching a bullet as well. Well, this really will slow things down. So couldn't be more 2015 if they tried. Smoke lands towards Coffins. Smoke lands towards CT. And a flash for Frozen on Chris J's peak, but no one's coming. They were hoping the double pump would pull out any of those CT smokes, but they're being very restrained with him. Carrigan with a flash. This is the, supposed to be the second pop, so same smokes again. <laughs> Look what the CTs are doing, just nice. rotting them. Poor guys, poor souls. 
Oh, Frozen's still got his as well. That was a gift from Carrigan. Just a little parting. Here you go, boys. Have a smoke. No worries. I'll be I'll Now be watch this. If, if they throw them again... Look, Frozen's going to throw his. Oh. Game of smokes continues. Oh. Oh, that's a big chunk of time, isn't it? Just dialing back to the information, check how much mid control there is right now on the side of things from Mouse Sports. BMS is tucked in under the pillar. You had Rops in tow close, also watching off towards that horse position. Now Carrigan's rotated back <coughs> over. He has full control. So at this point, Mouse Sports, they've locked them out of B with the smokes. And now they've locked them out of coming up quad side. So it will be the save from Team Spirit. They've just gone, nah, we don't want any of that. That's uh, amazing. My smokes. That is amazing. Yeah, you want an example of why you should buy a smoke grenade. There's, um, there's a couple. So Carrigan rotates in from A, drops his smoke, and just as they try and do their double bump, just as they're trying to throw those smokes out a second time, another balloons. And for the quick maths, for those of you wanting to do the maths yourself, just shave 15 seconds off the clock every time you see a, a smoke grenade. So around that 30 second mark is where Chad and Henry have previously educated me as to really when you make things awkward, you saw that that just forced the T side to save and it was without firing a single bullet. Look, Magic's just realizing as it blooms, okay, that one's a, that one's a save. And if you consider it from the CT side, if you get harassed early and you have to drop your smokes, then you need to start playing heads up. So the right. T's, if they can be more aggressive, if they can force you to use those within the earlier stages and apply pressure within the first minute of play, that's really, really good. So now it might be one of these more direct approaches from Spirit here as they've had to force buy in. It was the $1,900 loss bonus and the three saved guns. So it looks like it's going to be an A. Maybe Lurk, as Magix is set up with the smoke, but the other four players are still a little bit deeper back towards middle and alt middle. Bomb hasn't been picked up just yet. That initial smoke coming through hasn't forced out Rops' position. He will lie in wait. Here we go. It's back towards A they go. Three smokes. See if uh, Mouse Sports have buttoned themselves up a little bit. Chris Chase here this time. They look four players around. Spots out one. Oh, gosh. The... He wanted more than that. Now Magix has cracked things open. We still have players present, though. Three to be precise for the CT side. But look at the amount of map control spirit are just kind of worming their way into. Library's taken over. Carrigan trying to retake a little bit of a step towards top mid. He's got it. That's nice towards Chopper. Expect Mir. Going to keep him locked in towards Boiler. But there's the rest of the hit coming in. And Rops and Bimas. Nice hold on the site. Yeah, SD White with his low HP and now Mir here fracking as well. There is a world where Frozen can't do anything. That bomb's already gone down. What a way to turn it around. Again, Mir just always the, the cleanup crew for Spirit. Let's the chaos be created and he comes in with a big old broom. Frozen heard the scope towards sight. He knows yeah, SD White's there. Is he going to go hay bales or is he just going to... He's going in dry. Going to shot in the back of the head if he's not careful. Mir converts it. Triple kill again. That's twice so far in this half. Mir has turned it around with a multi-kill. Uh, not only three in this round, but the pistol as well. They were a 2v4 in that round. Let's see how this one started. So Magic's jumping over Chris J in pursuit of that AWP. And then here comes Mir, just as Rops was trying to tuck into the pit. Not only that, but scooping up the bomb. A very late arrival into the apartment's position. And this was just the angle. A matter of time. Seven to four. The coolest thing about that round... 90, bro. Oh, I like it. What? The fish swimming down second middle. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay. 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 Frozen's just taking a chunk of nade damage towards top banana here. He's not having it. He's not loving it. No. Come on, someday, young. Do something with this thing. I, I, I don't know where you're going to bring that, but I guess it's one way to put Carrigan in a bad spot. Quick mid control and a oh. quick tag. Nice work from Carrigan. Going to fall away, try and get some more territory. Bimas set up for success. He's in the perfect position. Perfect timing and great kills. And in the blink of an eye, old Idis Balance is left with it all to do. Teesside Orping Inferno. He's had very little to do. Very little uh, opportunities for contributions. He's going to have a good go of it here, though. Chris J's just to his left. Hi. Right. Round one. Frozen towards CT spawn as well, but that's where the story ends. So a mouse boards gifted a uh, not only round, but keeping four players alive enables them to start nurturing a little bit more of that bankroll. See how Bemis had a lovely spray transfer here. Really comfortable stuff as Carrigan found that last cherry on top.
They can work their way back into this half now. Check out the money situation for Team Spirit. Uh, towards the bottom of the barrel <laughs> loss bonus, or it is bottom of the barrel loss bonuses. Next round, they'll get 1,900. And that's why they've gone for the force buy here into round number 13, trying to make this one as competitively viable as possible. Those direct A hits have been working up until round 12. Let's see if it's a different approach. And apparently Chopper has an idea over towards Banana. Well, idea's just about to go up in smoke though, isn't it? Double Molly comes in, Chopper forced away again. Nothing to be done. Take control for the CTs. The flash has worked. Yeah, that little bit of util does give a bit of room. Even just one flash can get you a chance at it. See, not much though. I'd love to see a deep smoke and parking those CTs deep down there, but Chris J just lost his head on a look. Mir, always one's worth to watch. Good catch there, Rushley. Chris J down. Now an M4 idle at the top of Banana. There is a universe where this one gets awkward fast. I will remind you, Magix has got himself a Galil and no slouch at all. Rop's missing his nades. Not going to be worth complaining about there. Harry can give him the responsibility now as you see Frozen's angle towards CT Arch. If he fires one shot, it might be Frozen's time to get his knife out, but Chopper's wow. taken his head off. Here comes Spirit accelerating. Or picked up, Frozen vulnerable. He does find the necessary first. Mir's got the M4 and he knows he's got a lot to do here. Frozen, they jump over his spray. Absolutely magnificent. Bomb can go down. Team Spirit with only armor. Deagles are forced by 1,400 on the low end at times. But now with weapons. Kids are present for the CTs. Rops is crawling up Banana. I don't like the look of this one. Mousebots are going to have to try and find someone. Someone to give them a new lease of life. A smoke grenade for the bomb. There is a kit. Incendiary for disbalances position. Here we go. Okay, CTs so poised for this, but they've got to get a move on. We're halfway through this bomb timer. Rops starts the progress towards Banana. Gets down Magix's game on. Flash comes in, but it's got to be quick. And Rops is so good at this, but this balance goes down and suddenly it's all mere. But no the time. time, it's gone. It's faded away and it was a good attempt, but it matters not. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was the, uh, the worst idea, though, because by killing all of them, despite that bomb plant, Chad, I know this is probably your job, but... Mm. But going for that was probably egged on by Carrigan of saying, just kill as many of them as you can. Even though that's a victory, because it was on those Deagles 1400 force, they still haven't got all the bells and whistles. It's not the worst in the thing in the world for Mouse. Yeah, I think when you look at this, the 3500 loss bonus, well, sorry, win bonus in this case, doesn't net them the greatest buy. But I think the problem for Mouse is they're having a tough time dealing with these direct hits. That was a much more strung out round, but there's enough utility with the MAC-10s coming through. The Team Spirit can go for another one of these Ooh. A plays, and this is a problem. This could be a problem. Rops and Bemis. Spot one on the jiggle, this could get overrun. It's not the trade they were looking for, and now oh. Dinks. Okay, this is getting awkward. AK upgrades gifted as they charge towards apartments. Carrigan has to do some close quarters orping. He knows he's in trouble. That's really good on the first, but how done on the second. Mir is trying to keep this one together, and that fast pace is working so, so well. Bomb thrown across, and the plant might be coming in. Keep in mind, Frozen ain't that close. Chris Jay's all alone, his position just got found. Yeah, by being impacted by the smoke. That's a rare one. Frozen. What do you want to do with this? Do you want to announce that apps? You want to just try and bait a shot? Mir does reveal his location. Mantles onto the bike and costs him his life. Frozen tried to nade him and disbalance gets the frag. Spirit definitely woke up on the right side of the bed today. 13 francs for Mir. Chopper on 11 as well. The two heroes of the pistol round of broken mouse sports into the last round of the first half of the first game today. Which is wild because two rounds ago I was saying Team Spirit were broken and mouse sports could have battled back into this half and found themselves potentially with the half win in their favor. And now the shoe is well and truly on the other foot. It's just Deagles, CZ for Chris J, utility against rifles. So Team Spirit by winning that low by round before have, have really turned this first half on its head. Ooh, Nade comes in, Kerrigan goes down, it's him this time, he was Rob's before, but the flash ain't bad, but the aim's not there to back it up, Mir outdoes him, and suddenly a little element of surprise has been revealed, Chris J hoping for a bit of a better luck. Nope. <laughs> this should be 10-5. I yep. find it very difficult to see Fromus. Fromus? Fromus. Fromus. The duo. Yeah. Well, next time they're in a two on five, Fromus will be coming out to play. <laughs> Fromus. Frozen B-Mass. Yeah, Fromus. Rops. 
<laughs> Why have we never done frops? That's pretty strong. Mm, Frop sounds good. Oh, it's with the Frexo and the Framps and the Franny. Oh, he's been actually influenced by Russian. He's loved it, hasn't he? Mm, Frops. Boom. That's Ooh. frozen. Frozen. It is just the lurk. I wonder if they will push for info on that. Frops is surely communicating that he's got a lot of friends heading his way. Utility to boot. He's got his nade, not incendiary. And that's some afraid damage, but no cigar. Oh, more damage. Just balance tagged up nicely. Magic's catching bullets. They're doing some fantastic damage, but not what they were hoping for. Demus with a smoke. Frozen on the Galil. Armor as well. A smoke towards the pit side, but I don't think that's really going to get them too far. What's the lineup for this one, mate? Yeah, that'll do. Helps them walk up on the site. Maybe just hoping that they'll go down with the ship. Two of them probably too low to save in that pit position. It is planting the safe corner, though. They probably are. Not going to do anything for him. Last round of the half here. Oh, so yeah. uh, not quite sure what Mouse Sports are doing. There isn't really a way yeah. back in as uh, it just is frozen, left alone. It's a nice shot there. Finds a second, but sorry, frozen. The round's over, mate. Well, they did go down with the ship, and that'll be the half. So 10-5, uh, Spirit looking good on their map pick. We'll be back after the break. Carry on with Inferno.
double digits since Inferno. The first map of the series, and it's a big one for both of these teams. Group B of ESL Pro League's 12th season is getting to the business end now. Playoffs are up for grabs. All you need to do is convert, and here we stand on Team Spirit's map pick. I say we, not alone here. That would be weird. I've got Lauren Pansy, Scott, Hello. and Spoon Virgil hanging out in the studio live from Cologne. And green, I think. Green? Hello? Hey, green. Um, Henry's just invited us to play Swamp. Um, that rush? <laughs> he's tagged <laughs> Rush, Sponge, oh. I, and Pansy. Yeah, I did get tagged. I, I am slightly busy tonight, though. One sec, okay. one sec. We've got a mid push. We can come back to our Swamp plans. We want to make sure we've got everyone locked and loaded because we've had, what was it, three players walking down middle, but the ones that didn't put themselves over towards the apartments. Now, T-Side obviously going to keep that in mind as they see oh. the presence there and Frozen just straight through it. I just balance kind of left to try and pick up, but Frozen again keeping this very, very tricky for the CT side to get back into and look at Carrigan. SD1 needs to be careful here. He's going to get caught in no man's land. Oh. Okay, well, I just balance has fallen and it's going to put a lot of pressure onto Chopper, who's in the pit right now. He has the kit. Oh, Frozen's found another one. All right, well, this round's done and dusted. Right. Get back to Swamp. Chopper. The last one alive. That's nice. Okay. Clean. I'm down. Nah, no more. Right, so Swamp tonight. Are we excited for this? Are we feeling well, it? Are we on, yeah. on for it? Look, if it's this afternoon after work, I can yeah. fit it in. I can't... If you, How busy is your damn schedule? What are you up to all the time? It's just... Um, Socialite. A new man. Well, you go outside, don't you? Yeah, I like outside. There's the sun, there's the fresh air. Uh, you know, the birds. The trees. Bees. Birds, the bees. I love all of nature. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look. Chad's <laughs> not coming. Thanks I didn't say I was. No, he's in. He's in. This afternoon. So we're having a, we're, uh, the plan, Lauren. I know Chad likes plans, so I'll tell you what I the like plan is. Too. Uh, we're going to go home after casting this game. It's going to yeah. be a really long three map affair. Of course. Uh, when that's over, we'll go to the gym. We'll exercise. Then we'll go and play some swamp, maybe a cheeky vertigo, maybe an agency. <gasps> Rush will be there. He's no down. No Rush has no. agreed, so that's cool. And, uh, and then you can go and, you know, socialize, Chad. Thank you. I'm glad I have permission. You do. Lauren, do you want to write me a little note? Take with me. Please excuse Virgil from his swamp meat. Just, you know, it'd be nice if you socialize with us a little bit. I socialize so with you all day, every day. Literally every day. Free time. Every day. With a microphone in front of our face. We every just, day. Sometimes I'd like to play games with you, Chad. I don't know why it's such a big deal. You play games with my heart games, every day, Lauren. Oh. That's not true. And you know it's not true, Chad. <laughs> Oh, we're play so some goddamn swamp. That's all I want to do. And we have everyone waiting at the top of mid for the T side. This is taking some time though, so there's always a little bit of danger late in the round. But luckily for them, it's only three CTs here rather than the rest who are still faffing around at beat. No quick kill to come through for the Deagle. Magic's trying to find the right place to put the. Uh, I don't know. Swag seven. Yeah. I don't like calling it that, but hey, it works. And his balance is making it work too. Two kills, but the others have taken over. And now, sadly, the range of that thing will be a dis deciding factor. Good damage, though. And as the bomb's just gone down, both players, Chopper and Mira, already on the scene. That Molotov's going to hold Mira bay for a moment. Hopefully, it doesn't spread to his toes because he will get very, very hot very, very quickly as Chopper searches with this. Oh, table. I reckon Chopper hits this. I've just got a feeling. This first swing. No oh, <laughs> damage. Not enough, though. And near Armored Deagle and a bit of a challenge ahead of him. Carrigan's not interested in waiting around. He converts. And so for the pistol, they get themselves their second. That was the force buy, so we should see three now. This is the return after Team Spirit doing the very same on their T pistol. This time opting for two Mac 10s and the three rifles. It's a pretty potent mix. Wish I could use the Mac 10 at long range. Tap, 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 tap away. Tap, tapping on him. Ooh. I was making a, I think I was doing a Happy Gilmore reference. I'm not certain. I was doing um, a song. Take a look at the ADR. Your server front runner is Mr. Mir. Interested to know how he handles just the USBs and HEs. Don't know if there's going to be any particular successful catches. Maybe Beamus is destined for a conk on the nose. He'd have to jump or make a sound cue to give this away. Because he is alone, there won't be too many grenades to give away his position. The one that Magix has thrown, does that go half wall or is it still car? 
I think he's it's going to oh it's quite high. It depends on if he steps forward or not. If he throws it just a jump throw, then it's probably going to land just around the car position. They're actually changing their trajectory of the grenades right now. You can see SDY yeah. pivoting as well. So at this point, Mouse Sports get a free A sight. We can see if you look at the top right of your screen, the radar, they will be sauntering on in. No dramas, nobody home. They're going to put their feet up. They're going to eat all the goodies in the fridge. They're not going to take the trash out. And Team Spirit are going to be left coming home and going, bloody hell. How was your day? Well, just did nothing. I might try and hunt them here and use this MAC-10 to farm a little bit of extra cash. Ooh, like use that. the one on ROPS as well. It's not necessary. The MAC-10s can be potent on the gun rounds. We've seen that. But frags, stats, headshots. That's what we're here for. So let's see if we can have a couple. That was a dink. Chris J is probably not going to double dip in for that one. Ah, they're just holding them in. They're locking them in. Making sure they can't be hunting for any frags. This is just... Uh, Almost a unicorn round we might have on our hands here. Full unicorn round. So that was exciting. Uh, round number 19. About to get underway. The guns will come out. Team Spirit have the AWP up in the hands of I Disbalance immediately. Chopper going for that Famous so he can get the defuse kit and a full set of grenades. And everybody almost has all of the goodies. So four nades. Uh, sorry, four smokes. We're going to have three Molotovs. We're going to have five HEs, so a good amount of chip damage that can be done, and a bunch of flashes going up against the Galils, the MAC-10 kept from BMAS, some AK-47. Nice little run boost from Magics there. Deep smoke towards the bottom of Banana, and away we go. Going quick, though. MAC-10's out. BMAS is up. Chopper's not giving away the game, though, but they're keeping track of it. Mirror Magics combined. Big Banana, all theirs. And the T's will have to operate without two, but Magic's obviously lost on the other side here as well. But it looks like they want to try and get top mid control. Oh. And Spallon's going to miss the first. Not an easy shot. Oh. No, there's that apparently. Chris J going to make it look pretty swift though. SDY needs a couple here. Yeah, he's been trained on, but Mears pushed the smoke. They treated it like a wall. Ops does trade two on two. Carrigan up on that graveyard. SDY suspects it. Does just pop his head clean off. Nice. Biding of time from SDY. Rob's aggressing. Chops. Chops, rather. More like Chopper. He's in towards library. Just seemed like he has the flank here, but if Chopper clears long, he might suspect. Oh, yeah. this is all the timing. Yeah, he's checked it now. Good stuff from Chopper there to be cognizant that that little gap was opened, and they will find the AWP to give to Idis Balance yet again. So Team Spirit, with 11 on the board, get to start their CT-sided campaign. Mouse will be able to get another buyback on the board. No plant, but not the end of the world. And this was a shot from Christian to Idis Balance. We've seen a couple of Orpus Christian and Idis Balance now getting pressured over towards that arch side. Here's everybody at home on the fan cams. As round number 20 will get underway. Chopper with the Famous Mirror once again. Doesn't have the silence then for this time round. So the buy on the CT side, it's not ideal. It's not perfect. We should still be able to use them relatively serviceably, but the AK is much more potent than those oh. nades. Very good. Yeah, they weren't ready for Chopper either. He's mantling on the logs. Doesn't quite get to convert the damage initially done to that of Bemis. But the four on four. Magic's rotated in. Spirit have no map information right now. They know Banana's been given up. They have no brackets control. Halls is also a problem. Four members from Mouseport setting up towards Banana. Smokes and flashes ready to go on over. Two smokes, a Molotov to work with. That's my burn. That's quite nice. And there's the trade out for it. Mir does stand his ground in the fire, so he does burn alive. Horrible way to go. And sight's under control. It looks like Chris was the first one in. The one to test it all out. Bomber's now crossed. A little bit of a damage, you know, through the smoke, but nothing to really write home about. And now the post plant begins. All three CTs currently in CT and looking for a way forward. Re smoke goes up. The TEs get a couple more seconds to stay undetected. Yeah, he's going to try and flash them in, but Chris is pretty safe behind the pillar. Rob's likely going to be the first contact here. Oh, it's Chris J. 
just swings out into SDY now. Rox reveals and connects. Disbalance collects, gets one, but does get the help out of there. Oof, got the hiccups. Hmm, so just to note with the entry into that B bomb site there, Bemis going down for that trade is very worth it because of his low HP. So they used him right there to draw that fire and give themselves to get the kill onto that of Mir. So good stuff using the low HP player as a bit more of a decoy. Open the door to the B site. And we know when we talk about maps like Inferno, especially the retake potential does become more and more difficult. There was low utility for Spirit to get back in and they've had to take themselves a bit of a time out here to discuss their options. I just balance has the saved AWP. We can see that Mir has enough to go for a a buy with a Famous if he would like. Chopper could also purchase on him with an M4, but I think the correct decision with this lead that they currently garner, only two rounds at this point, should be just the partial. Some Deagles, maybe like Kevlar, Smoke Grenade in play here and there, and allow I Balance to work with the AWP. See if you can open him up. See if you can get him a chance to find a pick, and you can just take a look at the scores right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now about to head into round number six of the second half, four of which have already gone in the favor of Mouse Sports. Doing a good job as a bit of a team here. Frozen, Rops, 14, 13 for Carrigan, 12 for BMS. Chris down the bottom there with eight. As Mouse Sports in this honeymoon period, the new additions, the new roles, it's been working out quite nicely for them. Once again, the Gravitas, the importance of this game. If Spirit win this and Fnatic lose later in the day, Spirit will be locking themselves into contention for that playoffs. And Mouse Sports also desperately need to win. They have a hard match tomorrow up against Vitality. Great beginning though, isn't it? CZ, all the guns. It's great. He was the only player on B. So if they do eventually lean towards A, this could play quite nicely to the rather poorly purchased team spirit. I Disbalance is the big one oh. here. Nice work towards Apartments. Catching Chris with his pants down and I Disbalance gets the chance, even sees a second. That's the bomb loose just over the top side of mid. If they want that back, they're gonna have to work for it. Just USPs. Just USP, CZs, an AWP, sure, but okay. Ops and Bemis. Bemops. Rhymas. Rhymas. Sounds like a Pokemon. It does. Yeah. It's a Pokemon right there. I choose you, Rhymas! <laughs> I think they're saving, Fire? guys. Water? I think they're saving. What's right? What kind of uh, Pokemon? Oh, it's that, that Rhino yeah, one. Oysters. Rhymas, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a stone yeah. Pokemon. Remember that one? There was like that Rhino Pokemon. You remember yeah. the one when we were, you were you made it to Onyx? the... Onyx? No, it wasn't It was Onyx. actually literally um, just a Rhino. Oh. You made it to um, the the game... Oh, what's it called? I think um, like... Um, Pokemaster? It's Italy, but it's not... <laughs> no, where you, could, where you could go out, it was like... Um, Oh, they had them locked up, the Pokemon, and you could go hunting them in, in, in like a field, but you had to... Did you get there on the bike? What Pokemon did you play? Sure, well, you, go hunting them in the field, locked in the cages. I actually had a really funny... Knock Rhyhorn was... That's the Rhyhorn. one. Rhyhorn. I had a knockoff version of Pokemon I got from a, a Spanish um, like a street market. Okay. Oh, nice. What did and you get? And it had swear words and stuff in oh, it. Oh, what? Okay. I, it was like this weird cracked or like, I don't know, version of, of it. And I just remember all the text being like, Slightly um, rude, and uh, oh my. and my mum was let me play it, so I had a really cool version. You were the of Pokemon naughty Yellow. boy at school, like oh look what I've yeah, got. Yeah, mine says me. Mm. <laughs> Answer mm. now, of course. Oh, I would never. Disbalance is a bit of a baller, but he's backed up and makes sense as he drops himself a smoke granata. More nade damage down towards bottom of Banana here. We've seen a bunch of this so far. Good utility usage from Team Spirit. Really just hampering mouse spots into early stages of these rounds. Have to clear out close, so the utility towards logs. BMAS taking even more damage down to eight points of health. He's not having a great round here in round 22. It looks like they're gearing up to head over towards the A side of things. There are enough smokes and molotovs to set us up for an A hit. Chopper jiggle peeking towards top banana. Has Mir in tow with a flash. So he has the bailout in place if they are pressured. And towards top middle, they still have information as well until this smoke drops. So that'll land. Molotov to secure top mid as well, locking anyone in towards that porch position. In exchange, we see the CTs dropping some of their own. 45 seconds now. Decision time for Mouse. Got to make it happen. Got to be somewhat quick. And here we go. Top mid, they look once again. Another nade comes in. 
Carrigan going to be the first on the chopping block. Dispels can't make it away from Boiler, though. The trade comes out as Magix picks up the mantle. And now we're down to 30. More players to get through. Magix will have to give away the game, but he's got Mir there in support. Oh, he plays the edge of the slide so well. Does Mir, SDY, fine. Into Carrigan. Looks like the 13th for Spirit here. Demus, no help. Oof, no hope. 13 now for Team Spirit, and he's getting to the what the real uh, pointy end of Team Spirit's map pick. Don't forget, we've only got 2.5 into this round. That just doesn't feel su sufficient. So 1900 was the loss bonus right there, I do believe. And with that in play, we might just see Mouseport going for this partial investment. You can see Rops had a little bit more. He'll buy a CZ. Be nice to get himself a P250. Kagan grabbing one of those as well. Chris J even going to invest. Frozen is the only one not to buy on through. And a flash for Carrigan. Where are they going to use that? It needs to be a miracle flash right here, right now. Can we have a round with Rush? All right, Rush, you ready? Hello. You going to give us this one? Uh, sure. Looks like I just bounced through a grenade. No damage, though. SDY up in the apps. Very powerful position. Rops to the CZ. We've seen him with it. We know what he can do. He's a malleable player. <laughs> but here's that flash coming out. Oh, the smoke. Not good timing. They are just going to chill out, but there's a lot of presence towards A. We do see four players here. Only Chopper just jump peeking with the smoke out, but moving away a little bit. But Carrigan, he's thinking about the flash. He's thinking about the lineups. Oh, you don't like that, but he's, he's been watching some pro tips. He know, knows exactly where that flash needs to go. Looks like it's going to be towards short. There is no one there. I doubt SDY is going to get blind off of that. But uh, they're just slowing it down now. Just thinking about all their options, which has a to re uh, a rotate. But they are coming fast up short side. SDY with a little smoke, spotting over. Gets one, gets two. Is there a third? Oh, it's it's messy. The bomb's going down. Oh, oh this is going to be huge. Woo! Frozen. This round was unwinnable. A single flash brought in. Puts it into a 1v3 chopper. We've seen it with the AK before. We know what he can do. He's my able player. Does it get some damage down? But... I don't think it's looking good. That's a round that uh, I don't think they expected to win. They just wanted a bomb plan, but they won it. So that's fantastic. And they're very malleable players. Very malleable. You can't deny the malleability of, of the individuals with the ability. Um, but no, this is a crazy round. Frozen getting a double kill into the site. Rush, of course, hyping us up and getting us through what was just P250's Kevlar vest and a little pop and to short the punish. It just, it looks simple, but yet so effective, Certainly. doesn't it? Yeah, mm. uh, the, the frags were, were there, and it's kind of given Mouse Sports a new chance into this uh, this map. It was looking practically over. Bemis with his own Molotov to skew up their deep smoke. Interesting. Well, they can't take the deep T-stairs nade damage if they're not in T-stairs, but Carrigan, till... Oh, <laughs> oh, dear. Ouch. I'll be on T-Sides hard enough. Give him a chance, boys. Let him have a little, have a little something to play with. Only towards the top. No need for the flash, it feels, for now. Bemis just going to clear as he goes. Bit of safety garnered. We do have Magic's returning towards B, though. Uh, boosty uppy. And a little smoke back. So, not particularly proactive in trying to take that B control, but I guess they don't really have the ability to do so, what they've been working with, but nothing really out of the ordinary. Yeah, so right now the arch side smoke was just dropped from Mousebots. That's going to obscure the vision of Mir here. The, the fact that Mousebots could have limbered up middle is possible. That Molotov and Flash combo leads exactly to believe that, but for Mir it should be clearing any second. And while they're doing this, while they're waiting for the smoke, they're setting up towards Banana. It will be the hit. I just found it's not going to be able to do too much behind that. Chopper's... Rotated in. Magix was boosted. Now he's well and truly out of dodge. And on to B they go. Good flashes. Bemis draws first blood. Disbalanced. Mir rotating in. The tough call you have to make here. You have to try and hope for a combination of luck through the smoke. Good utility usage. Magix and SDY are still on A, so they're saving. And uh, Chad, is the food just... The, do they take the food at three? If you, if you want to get food, you should go now. Right now. Yeah, I'm going to go get a plate of more of that. I'd already be out of luck. Oh, of get in there. Get in there. Get some snacks. Find some tomatoes. I don't know. Have a good time. Right. I do, I, that's the thing. When we come in, you have to eat immediately. It's the only time you have to eat. There's no, no, we've had quite the start of the day, Chad. I know. There was lots of things happening. I even had to shower in the office. Chad's had an office shower. It wasn't as bad as you would imagine it to be. It doesn't really appeal to me. If no, I'm well, honest. I didn't want to. Oh, I didn't have enough time. Excited. Yeah, but I bought my bathrobe, I have my towel. Yeah, a little, little moment in the shower, a little yeah. head and shoulders moment. A little you know, slippers. I've back. lost one of my thongs today, so I don't know where it is. I've oh, either dropped it on the water. Probably a pack of five, you'll be fine. 
my flip flops. I've lost my flip flops. I wear one of them. I only have the left one at the moment. So I hope it's either Where in my room. I probably dropped it out of my bag while walking down the street because I was in so much of a rush. I didn't even zip the bag up. Ah, uh, okay. So it's just. It's probably on the street somewhere, out somewhere out the front of the you hotel. You can't leave your thongs around the place, Chad. No, you can't. You need to make sure you take them with you. Yep. Yep. <sighs> All right, well, that was a pretty simple approach on that B bomb site. But now, as this is, once again, the map pick of Team Spirit, we know what's on the line. We know if Team Spirit are able to grab this and later in the day, Fnatic lose, Team Spirit will be locking themselves in for playoff contention. Amos will be putting down that same Molotov yet again, wanting to hold back this deep smoke, and it won't be thrown on through. So the buy, this time for Spirit, has two MP9s in play. One for SDY, one for Chopper. Mia up towards the sandbag position. Over the top will be... Chopper with some utility. Normally, with this Smoke Molly combo, they peek from the site, Lauren. They're actually trying to set Mir up. So check this out. Smoke will land. Oh, Molotov lands. There's nobody home for Mir to pick on into, but maybe he'll use this to go even further forward. Okay. Let's see what Mir does. He was the standout for this team, and all of the CIS fans were saying, hey, look, he's not new on the scene, but it's good to see him in forum against Tier 1 teams. These are, these are big teams he's facing off against, and he's been playing very, very well recently. I hope they weren't telling me that he was not new on the no, scene. No, 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 no. Vegas no. Squadron, he was in Gambit. You guys exactly. want his life history? I bloody exactly. got it. Look, look. Hey, Chad, it's not. Mm -mm. It's all good. People are just saying, you know, he's been around the block, but exciting to see him really finding form here. Turning a couple of heads. Chopper, though, leading by example. It's gonna get B-Mass in the smoke here, I think. Oh, the nade could be... Let's throw it now. He doesn't know the timing on it. There we go, nade goes out. That could be good, let's see. Decent, not everything you dream, but the overall damage, the splash damage is good enough. But he's all alone, so Chopper's gonna have to do some serious work here, and I don't think he's capable of it, sadly. No left. Another all save call. Yep. Has to be, has to get be another save. There, boys. There's no way back in, you've lost the sight. There's no one even really putting that much damage down. The rotation was far away. If your mouse spots at this point, your bank is built. I would actually be, if I was Carrigan, and once the first 15 seconds of the bomb have ticked and you've heard no sound cues, you haven't heard any nades, nothing going on in that variety. About. Yeah, start chasing. Start yeah. sending your net out. One of the reasons they might not want to chase is they don't want to give up too many AK-47s across the other side, and I can see that side of the coin, but there's enough money for mouse spots right here that they could warrant sending out one or two players to see what they can find. I uh, just want to let you know, Alex, I know you're assuming, but people are worried. Make sure you don't drop barbecue sauce on yourself. I, got, I went for mayonnaise this time, Lauren. Smart. Well, yeah, that's even worse. Shirt. That'd be even worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I put some sambal and some mayo. People have really picked up on just like, you're like, oh, make sure you don't spill it. I had a lot of really people care. messaging me saying that they, they were sad for me because they, they knew I had a new shirt and then they knew I got barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> I actually came in today with sriracha on this shirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the makeup uh, uh, artist gave me a nice wipe. Four ninety nine a month. You can buy Alex a bin. And support me <laughs> and my messy eating habits. He's a passionate eater. I am. Right? Apparently, Just yeah. Really. I'm, I, I'm very easily over. distracted. So I think the, the being, focusing on my meal. Why do you common. enjoy it for a little bit? No, I'm, I'm here to do my job. But this is just a, you know, I'm about to put a chip in my mouth. But I'm holding down a button so no one will know. But now you do, I suppose. Oh, Here I go. Chewing a chip. Well, chewing the fat <laughs> is team spirit right now. They just have yeah. to talk through their options. What was the rebuy coming in on this? They've been able to get an M4 up, so it's still just I one MP9. Bad. Last round was two yeah. MP9. The saves are just allowing them to continue to go for rounds like this. Is uh, If we take a look at the loss bonus, it's kicking on up quite nicely for team spirit now. That's a good opening from Carrigan. So I just balance goes down. Chopper wants to see if he can get that AWP. He will be able to find it in the smoke. So this mm. is looking uh, much better for Mouse Sports as they've been able to put together the last three in a row. Yeah, this is a nice start. Rob's though battling for some lurk space. Oh, goodness. Carrigan catching a bullet to the dome and Rob's gets caught by the reaction speed. Magic's. He was not the one to pull the trigger first, but he is the one to draw blood. Four on four, then. SDY and Magic's tucking into the site after that damage. They will forego control of the bracket's position. Chris J having to strike a balance between aggressive and defensive. Mir's going to jump for info on that smoke and call that nobody's home. So that T-smoke from Mouse Sports hasn't really gained them much. Chopper's even rotating. Mir's pushing. Oh, wow. They know it's A. Oh, they know all right. The molly... Oh, it didn't cost him any time. Frozen's gone right through it. I just oh. liked... Oh, Choppy are brave as hell. They're trying to bail these boys out. Sometimes Young's still alive, though. 
the shutdown comes in. It was very much grasping at straws there. It felt like very, very, very fine margins. 14 to 12. Spirit do stay alive. Can they spread the wealth enough? I think so. Yeah, they can. There yeah. should be enough good, for good. them to buy across here. So because they were saving those guns time and time again, they didn't have to reinvest in too much utility or weapons. They were able to save themselves a little bit more money as their loss bonus. That wasn't great. In those three rounds, they made it all the way up to just the 1,900 loss bonus coming on through. Uh, the 24 they've been able to avoid. So back down we go. And we can see here... I just bounce aggressive banana again. This time tickled on up by a lot of damage. It looks like Mouse Sports have gotten banana control. And not only have they gotten control, they've put I just bounce down to 37, chopper down to 36. Hot flush through. Whoa. Carrigan leading by example. Almost takes Chopper out of the equation here. Probably a little bit unlucky not to find that frag. Look at Crest taking the bomb through T apps. Like that's a rare route. Taking the bomb all the way to second middle. After all of that action on A. Mops. Previously caught out by some great reactions from Magix, but I don't anticipate that will be such an issue this time. He's actually got a HE in his hands at this point, hoping to catch himself a Rhymorn? What did we call him? Rhymas? Rhymas. Rhymas was the Pokemon. Was, yeah. I was trying to like combine the names there. It took way too long. Rhymas is the Pokemon we've created, and that's perhaps what his magical ball he chooses to deploy the Oblong instead. Still time for Mouse Sports to fall back to B here if they do decide, but the utility looks like they want to head over towards A. Pressure towards Arch side. SDY needs one here. He has to choose his meal and he can't get either of them. Spoiled for choice. His choice spoiled him. Chopper's dunked oh, on. Name. Magix has to deal with Rops. Pressure from Graveyard, but Rops this time gets his revenge. Two CTs for the retake. Looks like 13 for Mouse. Disbalance and Mir to change my mind. All right, let's see what they've got to do. 10 seconds. Bomb should be planted any second now. No problem there. Rops' timing could be wonderful. Here, slip past. But timing is going to be a factor, and money's a factor too for the CT side, of course. Response. Nah. Didn't get anything. It's the right call. Yeah, back away time. Oof, so that may have been heard. The footsteps just down middle. Rops might start hunting, but he's gone the long way around, all the way over towards B. So where they came from, Idis Balance and Mir will head over to save. And taking a look at the loss bonus coming through in the following, it will only be 1,900 into the bank balance. That is enough for Idis Balance to drop a gun. Chopper will have enough to go for a buy of his own. But SDY and Magix, it's not going to be fantastic. You can see there, 2.4, 2.2. Scoreline 14 to 13. Round 28 about to come on through. This would be a good time to take a timeout. This is SDY not being able to get either frag there. So swinging wildly. Frozen did a fantastic job to trade that out. But it's Rops' multi-kill. Then dunk with the HE and then finishing off magics towards pit. It completely removed any capabilities to defend that A bomb site. And no, no timeout taken, but the force by will come through. So the guns have been dropped across. They were even able to get an M4 into the hands of SDY. It's just magics here who'll be down on that. SMG. Four Serviceable. Zor Spirit have gone this side so far. It has been a mouse port showing on this T side. It has had a couple of responses, don't get me wrong. There's a reason they're on 14, but the CT side hasn't been flawless, and mouse ports have had a way in. And it looks like second mid's away again. Chris J already up in the apps. Good presence with Rops there. Some die young on the other side, though. Waiting for this to come through. Carrigan, smoke in hand. Smoke goes out. That's towards CT Arch. There's the molly towards quad. Sunday Young knows what's coming his way, but where's the timing? Where's the hit? It's going to have to come soon. Nade in hand now for Chris J. You tell back. They've drawn out those final pieces, but top mid's under control. Rops makes a stand. Comes out, gets the one for one trade, but Magix is in trouble. Yeah, they spotted him and they know where the other is as well. Carrigan's piecing this one together for the squad. Chris J first in and takes Magix first out. SDY in graveyard. Behind his smoke, they suspect. Avoids the flash, that's something. Chopper does actually Huge catch kill. Chris. That's going to help them with the retake. It's now numbers favoring Spirit. And it's extended again. Mir's there. This bomb gets difficult to defend, wow. and Chopper takes their head off. That's colossal stuff. Team Spirit on for 15, courtesy of their leader, Chopper. Yeah, there have been two clutch flanks that have come out from Team Spirit. One in this round here from Chopper and Mir, and in the previous Mir, when he pushed all the way down through that banana smoke. 
able to uh, come up quickly through the quad position again. So this is going to put Mouse Sports still in a position to buy. Their money has looked fantastic. Good, I want to say good trade. If I might just bounce, I'm probably a little bit tilty about that whole scenario right there. But he was pressured forward. And Chopper with the quick reactions, 21 kills to his name. So just one more round right now from that of Team Spirit to snake away map number one. It was their map pick. Next up will be Mirage. We know that they can be proficient on that, have been working on their T sides. And as we're going to head three players towards Top Banana right now, Magic with a deep smoke. Yunus Molotov in play again. Lots of nades and pushing. They want to clear. They do, and they're right to do so. Beamus was there. Looks like Spirit starting as they mean to go on. Chris J quick to contest. Yeah, bit of a second wind here with Spirit feels. They've come alive a couple of moments now, but there is still four alive for the T side. They, they did manage to get one back towards Sunday Young. It's certainly not over yet, but a bit of a stack. Four players now towards A for Spirit. And if it carries on this way, they're in the right place. Up towards mid, they go hearing all of this. They've got to know what's coming their way. Magic's with the wild spray. Idis balance. Excellence kicks in. The CT side a little less tricky. But Rops is your last man standing. Good night. First map goes to Team Spirit. 16 to